Okay, hey peoples, Ahmet Productions here. Now, if you follow Go Space Kid 101's channel, and a uh, link to his channel will be in the description below, you will know that I purchased some masks for him. Now, before you even get into this unboxing, um, I'd like to ask you guys a favor. Please don't go over to his channel and start asking him for masks. Like, well, first off, don't like, you know, no, um, a lot of people just say, hey, can you make me a mask? Like, not even talking about trading or buying, just like they want a mask from him, which is, I'll tell you right now, don't do that. It's gonna tick them off and just know. So, um, if you really want a mask from him, join Black Horror, Black Horror on Facebook. Uh, the link will be in the description to that as well. Um, then you'll get notified if he's ever willing to trade a mask or, uh, if he's gonna sell, sell a mask, uh, that's how I um, became friends with them. You know, I started. We started messaging through Facebook, but um, yeah. So if you really want a mask, that's the way to do it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. I bought two masks from him. I bought a Corey Taylor Volume Three mask, which was seventy bucks, and a Jim Root All Hope Is Gone mask, which was fifty-five bucks. Now I know the song playing in the background, which is um, The Devil and I from The Great Chapter, isn't actually from. The period of either of these masks, but that's my favorite song from the band. Uh, I do listen to some Slipknot, not a lot, but uh, a little bit here and there. I started listening to it more since I purchased these masks, but um, there should be a few extra things in here, but without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Let's make sure the camera's getting that. And uh, I'm going to be a bit careful, and one of his vlogs he actually put you know, the little top of the pizza box inside of here, which is nice, so you know I'm not going to like cut the masks, but... Here's a paracord bracelet. Um, he actually offered me this paracord bracelet because my old one, I'm wearing one right now actually, but my old one that he used to wear broke, and um, he actually had this one that was a bit too small for him, so let's try this on. Here, let me get my other one off. Oh, this looks like it'll be a perfect fit one sec. Bear with me here, I'm, I'm right-handed, so this is a bit awkward for me to put on, but... Eh. Ah, oh, look at that perfect fit. Sweet. I will be wearing that for the rest of the video, but ah, oh, this is really awesome. Now, let's get into the Corey Taylor Volume 3 mask. I saw this in his vlogs, and holy crap, Jesus. Damn. Just, wow. His straps are so good. Um, I don't even know if that picked up on camera, but... Holy crap, this is a heavy duty masks right here and mask, I'm sorry. If you um, watched his vlogs, just this thing in person is even crazier. And he even tagged it, that's really awesome. Corey Taylor. Wow. That's pretty awesome. I will be doing in-depth reviews of um, everything inside of here, just not doing anything tonight since I actually just got back from traveling. Actually, my birthday was a few days ago, so this is kind of like a little uh, birthday present, which is awesome. So I'll put that one aside. Next we have the Oh Hope is Gone Jim Root. I still haven't seen the mystery mask that he sent me, by the way. So that's, I am mean, still have no idea what that could be. And uh, my apologies if I'm like ripping up the bags and stuff that just turns on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Just wow. That's the only thing I can say. My god. It's kind of... Jesus Christ. Like I said, like, in the vlogs, it's like, yeah, they look awesome, but in person, they're just like something else, man. There's that. Right now, mystery mask. I have no idea what this is. And uh, I think there'll be a little note with this. 
All right, no idea what this could be. Oh, so it's a collector mask. This is interesting. All right, let's see. Um, I believe there's a note. Ah, there's the note. So let me open this up. Uh, one second. Here, let me show you the uh, collector mask. Yeah, he um, did tell me this was like an old mask, so this isn't his current work, I'd like to point out. But um, here, let me read this note. I'm going to read this and I'm just giving you, I talked to him uh, if you want me to read it or not. Um, I'm going to um, just, you know, like give you the basics of it. I'm not going to read the whole thing uh, on camera. So let's see. All right, so I just got done um, reading the letter, which was kind of awesome. But anyway, so pretty much what this is, is um, obviously Ghost Kid 101 wasn't always good at making masks. You know, we all have to start somewhere. Hell, I'm not good at making masks whatsoever. But uh, what this is, is this, I guess, is a really, really early version of one of his collector masks. And um, um, if you've also checked out my channel, I have... Um, one of his modern collector masks that he's made. It's right here. And I have an in-depth review on that and everything and an unboxing. But, so pretty much, this is pretty cool since, um, besides him, only one other person owns, um, a mask from this copy, um, from this mold. And it's really cool because, um, you know, you get to see how his mask-making skill has, like, you know, evolved over time. And, um, you know, obviously the mask hasn't held up too well over time, but, like I said, it's, um, still pretty impressive and I will be doing a comparison between this collector mask, um, his old collector mask and the um, new one that, you know, was like really high quality and everything that he did. But, um, wow, um, I had a little feeling it was going to be something which it wasn't what I thought at all, but, um, wow, this is, um, really nice, I have to say. It's, um, it's interesting. It's like now I have, you know, a bit of, like, two takes on him, like, you know, his older kind of, it's, you know, part of the history of his mask making. That's actually kind of cool from the letter, but... Yeah, so, here, let me, um, put this, here, let me show the paracord bracelet again. I, this is my new bracelet, uh, thanks, he didn't make this, but I, I don't think he made it, at least, but, um, I know it was a bit too small for him, but no, it's a perfect fit on me, so thanks. But, um, back to the main attractions. Wow, um, these two, man, wow, just, the only words I can think to say about these are wow, it's, um, it's kind of surreal. But uh, thanks for watching the unboxing, guys. Um, make sure to check out Ghostface Kid 101's channel. And uh, thanks again to Ghostface Kid 101. Shout out to him. And also, another shout out to my friend Spore Worlds um, for house sitting for me um, while I was on vacation. Yeah. It was since I was spent my birthday at over vacation. He actually gave me some really nice gifts. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. It's kind of, you know, personal with me and his friendship. But a uh, huge thank you to Spore Worlds and shout out to him. And uh, yeah, check the links below for everything. I think I said I would leave to Ghostface Kid 101's channel, Black Four, and Spore World. So thanks guys for watching. Um, and reviews on these masks will be coming up, as well as a comparison between the two collectors. Um, Night Productions, out.